So now we have a five LED Knight Rider effect right here. We're using a 4017 decade counter and each time we get a high output, the LED uh, changes, the output changes I should say. Now, um, all these LEDs have two outputs connected to them and they're all headed to ground right there. And uh, so we need diodes to keep uh, one output being high from going into the output while it is low because only one output can be high at a time. But in case, uh, up here we have nine and zero. So let's start with zero, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, back to nine, and then zero again. And it repeats the process. And so we have uh, the ends take about twice as long to light up as the middle ones, but they only light up half as often. So they're all lit for about the same amount of time total. And now we're gonna take a short look at the schematic for the 4017. It's a decade counter wired to light five red LEDs like the uh, Knight Rider effect. And uh, they could all share the same resistor even though in the uh, physical circuit, I gave each one its own uh, current limiting resistor. So I got a 555 timer. Every time the output goes high, it changes which output of the uh, counter goes high. And there is the uh, pin layout, but um, we're not gonna focus on that right now. We're gonna keep this short. So we have output uh, zero right there. And uh, so when it's high, it would pump current into nine. So we have diodes for all outputs here. And then, uh, so we got zero and then one, two, three, four works its way down and then again it stays lit right there because five and then six seven eight and then back to nine and then once nine is lit when it goes back to zero to start over it stays lit 